Hello there and welcome. My name is David and I work on the 3D scanning team here at Go Engineer. Today's going to be a very brief look at Control X by Geomagic Software. It's an inspection software. And basically, I'm going to show the different color display options uh, by default. So basically, when you put a dimension or a call out, you're going to have three potential colors. You're going to have green, which is a passing dimension. You're going to have red where a dimension fails, and then you might also have a yellow annotation. So I'm going to go ahead and explain kind of what these things mean in this video. Let's get started. So here we are in Control X, and I can see here we've got a single CAD model, which is right here in the result data tab group. You can see here as I select on it in the properties, it says solid body, it has its name there. Again, if I click on the point cloud in this case, it tells us the name as well as it says that it is a point cloud. So I'll, here as well as just the properties here in this warning area, the ratio is 50%. Now that's default. You can change that, but for this exercise, I'm just going to leave it at 50%. And again, what that means is any dimension I put in or call out that consumes 50% or more, but is still conforming to the tolerance will display as yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and illustrate some of this here by putting in a dimension. I'm going to put actually a position call out and I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to use the current alignment and I'll just select on the cylinder here. And you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and change the orientation of that. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And you can see it displays green on the annotation. It displays green on the properties as well. So let's come to a different view here. And I'm just going to drag this into the center so we can kind of take a look at what's going on. So here you can see that there is a kind of a, a, a tolerant zone that's based, uh, in this case, on position. And you can see as I rotate this out just slightly, that the green is the CAD or nominal with the nominal axis of that cylinder with the zone. And you can see the blue here is actually the measure. But because it's in, with inside of this tolerance and it doesn't consume 50%, that you can see it's a pass again. So if I zoom out, you can see it's green here as well. So let's go ahead and select this. And I'm going to go, I'm going to make it fail. So let's say, and this number here you can see is 0.3694. So that is the measured value. So that's not going to change if I change the tolerance. So let's uh, illustrate that by uh, making it a small tolerance of let's say 0.25. And now it becomes red. And if again, let's go to another view here. So we can look straight down that and zoom up a little bit. You can see where that, that vector of these measured or the scan goes beyond the tolerance. So that's why it's a fail. Okay, so let's go ahead and select this one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and change this tolerance to, let's say, 0.5, because that will give us a value that will show as a warning. So now you can see, again, the, the number doesn't change here, but the color of the annotation does, and it tells us down here it's a warning. And again, that's because it consumes 50% of the tolerance. So you can see here that the vector is going towards the, the outer limits of the tolerance, but it stays within, and it but it does consume 50%. So again, just to illustrate, these are little concepts for, for new users that may use the software with and not know what the different colors or why the different colors are being displayed. So that's about it for now. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.